Hello guys. So, have you ever wondered the question, what is the difference between beloved ammonia that we usually see in things like household cleaners produced from the Haber process compared to ammonium? Now, first I am going to go over like the di now first uh now you'll notice that I'm drawing brackets and a plus sign on the ammonium. But the ammonia is just a compound. Now this is because this the ammonia is what is called a polyatomic ion. A polyatomic ion. Now this is what is now this is that consists of multiple, now this is an ion that consists of multiple atoms. Um, an example of a monatomic ion would just be, a manganese would just be some positively charged sodium. Would just be some positively charged sodium. But, uh, but that's, but we don't need to worry about that. So, the main difference between here is now, now you'll notice that this has an extra hydrogen gained on it. Meaning that when this thermally decomposes, like in this case, the thermal decomposition of ammonium chloride. Now normally you just expect it to decompose into ammonia and hydrogen, but and chlorine, but it doesn't work that way. Since that since that ammonia has to lose a hydrogen atom, so it so it isn't an ion anymore. So it isn't an ion anymore. The hydrogen bonds with chlorine to produce hydrogen chloride. Uh, now the ammonium chlor now these now um now these two still re do react to go back to ammonium chloride. But um, what I really want to but what really fascinates me about uh, this about ammonium now but what um like and but sadly ammonia. But, so this means that our normal ammonia has to have, now, you're wondering why it's positive. Now, this is because hydrogen, now, with a plus one charge. Now, this is because all but one hydrogen is positive. So, in this case, gives it a positive charge. So, it can bond with things like negative poly polyatomic ions. Well, this is just a nor well this is well ammonia is but ammonia is still a very special compound itself ammonia itself is still a very special compound as it's but it's produced by the Haber process which we will grow which we will go over in another video. Uh, if you are trying um, now before I go, I'm going to talk about this reaction again. Uh, if you are trying to do it, this is a reaction. Now, this is an equilibrium, and it is a reversible reaction. But don't do it because they're like acids, and they corrode metals in your hands. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.